So in this video, we'll see what is column from examples. We have four videos created on this column from examples and on different different examples I have created. So the first one which I'll be showing you is how to work on split text. We have seen how to split a text using text functions in Power Query. Now let us see by column from example. Here I have the data set. The name of the file is 16.1 column from example and the sheet is CFE example 1. Now what I want to do is I have a column named as order ID. If I want to separate the column into three different columns without using split function, can I use it? We can do it with the help of column from example. If you know the flash fill in Excel, this topic is similar to flash fill. Let me show you how. If I want to find out the first two characters from this text, I can just type here in Excel CA enter. So first two characters and I can go to home menu bar and I can click on fill option and this is flash fill. So carefully see the icon. Okay, you can see the icon. There's a lightning thunderstorm icon here. I'll click on that flash fill and you can see the first two characters are inserted. Okay, so I'll delete that one more example. Suppose I want the last text which is 152156 and I'll keep my cursor in the next cell. So I want the last six characters which is numbers and I can click on this button flash fill and you can see I'm getting the last six characters. So this feature is exactly used in Power Query. Okay, one more and the last example I can show here. Suppose I want the first name from the customer name. So I can type here as C-L-A-I-R-E. Okay, first name and I can go to home menu bar fill and click on flash fill option. So you see the first name has been extracted easily from there. Now, let us do this in Power Query, Power BI. So see the name of the table here is, I have kept the name as CFE split. So I'll quickly pick up all the tables because it will be required in the coming videos here. So this is my Power BI. Let me quickly pick up the data, get data, Excel. Name of the file is 16.1 column from example. So I'll pick up this four tables. Right now we require only one table in this video, but I'll pick up four tables will be required in the next videos. So I'm in the CFE split query. CFE stands for column from example. So this is the order ID. I can select that column, add column and see the icon, which is this lightning icon on a column. This is exactly like your flash fill in Excel. So I can click on this button here and select from selection. There are two options, whichever column you have selected. And if you want only on that, okay, the output only on that, you can click on from selection. If you want output on all the columns collectively, we can select from all columns. So right now in this example from selection, suppose I want first two characters, I'll type CA, simple CA and press enter. Okay. So you have got the first two characters. If you want the middle text, I can type as 2018, enter. Okay. So I've got 2018, 2016. You can cross check. You see the last three are 2016, last five are 2016 and you can see these are all 2016. Okay. The other one, if I double click and if I want the last six characters, I can type and enter. Just enter. Nothing else to be done. What is happening? What is the logic behind that? Whenever you do this, there is a function at the back end written. These are the M functions. So if you see transform text after delimiter and the column name is given. This order ID is the column name order ID. And if you think you want this column, you just click on OK button. That means you have approved and you have agreed you can take up this column. Now, what is the beauty of this column from example? Tomorrow, if the first column changes, if this column value changes, this will automatically update. Now, this was easy because we had consistent text between delimiter. That means two characters, then four characters, then six characters. So there was a consistency. Now, suppose if I want to find out when there is no consistency, like in the customer name. So the text is somewhere it is very lengthy, somewhere it is very small, but the delimiter is space. Okay. The separate is space. How do I split or how do I find out? So without using the function text functions, I can go to add column from selection. And suppose I want all capital letters. Okay. All uppercase. I can write as the name in uppercase. Enter. Just enter. That's it. So you see all the text has been converted to uppercase. Same way. If you want lowercase, I can just type CLA enter and everything would be into lowercase. Suppose you want the only first text or you can see as first name. I can just type here as the first name enter. 
you will get all the first name from here. So you see this is the function which is automatically written at the back end transform dot text dot before delimiter. Suppose you want the first characters okay first character only from the first name I can just type here as C enter and you see sometimes it will not understand. So you have to train it again and again. So for example I have typed as two times C again the third cell I'll go and type as D enter and you see you have to keep on training power query and then it will understand and write down all the first alphabet of first name here. And once you have agreed, you can just click on OK button. Okay, so you can replace at least 70 to 80 functions in Power Query just using column from example. Okay, we have three more videos on this column from example. But for time being, I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.